Hey, what's up everybody? Today we will be programming the Flappy B game, right? So here's our Flappy B and it's trying to dodge these pipes over here. Okay, so we will be reinventing the classic Flappy Bird game, alright, in Scratch. But this time around we're gonna use a B instead. So you will need to modify the game. Gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to program the basic game and you're gonna modify it later on to your liking for your final submission. Alright, so in this game you're gonna control your Flappy Bee, it's one of them, using your mouse. Alright, to dodge the pipes as long as you can. So there'll be a timer element in it. Okay, so let's get on to a desktop here. Okay, so once you have received your Flappy B folder, look at the students folder over here, all right? And you have your four sprites over here. Two of them will be used as costumes for each of the B, the male B and the, or the female B. The game over screen, all right? And starting page. Instruction. Okay, it's gonna take a while. Game over. Once it hits the pipes, uh, starting instruction page, which says that how long can you dodge the pipes and to use your mouse to control the flappy B. Right? Okay, and we have eight pipes over here that looks different. And we're gonna use all these as a single pipe but with eight costumes. So that's about it. Okay? So as usual, I'm gonna copy the link here, copy and close. I'm going to start scratch. You could be doing this online, on scratch online, right? So I'll just be doing this offline. All right, um, so let's get started. So on the stage, I'm going to upload my on the desktop. FPB students. Okay, I'm gonna add the game start. Alright, and another backdrop will be the game over. Get this for the costume. I will I should be removing this sprite cat. And I'm just gonna use the white backdrop right for the game. Right, so this for the game itself, game over, and game start. Alright, so it says here, press space bar, the game will start. So I'm just going to program this. So, on start, looks, start with game start, right? And when you press the space bar, I'm going to use to game, okay? So we go to game, so this two. Now to activate the game over, I need to send a broadcast, so when I receive a broadcast, okay, game over, notice is the capital G and O here, the small G and O, you don't think it's a different, this is the broadcast, right, you can give it any different, any other name, but I'm just going to use game over, so when I receive game over, okay, the backdrop will switch, this game, it says game start. Alright, so is that simple? So somebody will be sending this game over to our stage. Now next, let's upload Sprite. I'm gonna use the pink B over here. Ooh, it's rather huge. It's the first costume and then the second costume. Alright, so it's just gonna flap that way. On script, start. I'm gonna make it look smaller a bit because it's a bit too big. So maybe I'm gonna set it to about forty percent. Okay, just for now, forty percent. Okay, I'm gonna press space bar, so it's gonna be white. Space bar. Now this B is forever. It's gonna just change costume. So it looks like that. It's flapping. Right, and it should be following the mouse. So it's gonna go to 
right? Okay, we use light instead. The light to sensing mouse X and mouse Y. So it takes one second to get there. It's a bit too far. So I'm going to use 0 0.2 perhaps. Notice that the flapping has gotten much slower. Alright. Okay. So we can do something about that. Okay. Now, next. And space bar, right? This guy shouldn't be appearing yet. So it's going to hide. Now, I'm going to take this away. Okay. So I'm just going to go when space bar is pressed. It should show up at somewhere about this location. So it shows up location wise. It should be perhaps about minus 120 and on the zero. Okay, there. Maybe I should make this be a bit smaller. You can dodge better. Hide. Spacebar appears. Okay. Start spacebar. Right. And for this one, forever, like two seconds, ready, start, spacebar, yes, it's working fine, and it's flapping very fast. Okay, next, now we need, um, that's about it, yeah, <laughs> let's do for the pipes. So for the pipe, for the first pipe, just gonna upload pipe one, that way, it's a bit small. Okay, it's gonna go somewhere there. So what's going to happen when the pipe appears and it's going to travel this way if it touches this location it's just going to reappear back on the other side okay so event on start it should be hiding first we can always send him to its location over here all right okay notice that the coordinates have changed so I'm going to send him to 240, Y, 160, way up there. Okay, let's test location first. So let's show him, show up. He's there. Okay, he's a bit small. So I'm going to increase his size. Looks, increase size. Change size by 200%. Okay, a bit too small. 300% okay so he's gonna hide he's gonna set size and he's gonna appear over there okay and so on space bar press he's gonna show up green flag hide space bar appears okay now we want to make him move so we're gonna use a uh, forever moving so let's watch the direction 90 is this way so i'm going to send him to the left so i'm going to point him first point him to the left and move him 10. okay green okay, let's do five all right Okay, it looks like it's upside down, so what I need to do is to press this one over here. Okay, and let's try that again. Okay, we've got something to dodge. Next, the costumes, we need to import about seven more, so I'm just going to click the first, second one, press shift, last one, open, and there you go, you have all the eight costumes. Space bar, ooh, it's a big one. All right. Okay, next, I'm going to randomize this, so it's going to look, it's going to switch costume to show up and choose a costume, 1, 2, 8, alright, so press space bar, okay, maybe a middle one, alright, so, okay, now when it touches the other end, right, if it touches when x value, now if sensing, now the position is less than minus 240, position of what of the pipe 
let's go down to the pipe of pipe 1 right it's less than 240 okay what do you want him to do you want him to go back to the front so I'm gonna take this code send him back and make sure he changes his costume again okay change his costume there you go okay 116 all right we have a basic dodge game now okay now as for the b let's go back to the v code now if i'm at any moment I touch the blue pipe okay I'm gonna broadcast game over right and wait wait so that the command is received by the background so the game over there you go so we'll start stop and go yep so if I hit it once oh there you go game over Alright, connects. We may want to have the timer now. Okay, timer is over here. Timer is going to tick up. Alright, so the B is the controller. The hero always controls the game. So at the start, you're going to reset the timer in spacebar. Just reset the timer. Okay, to make your user feel more comfortable, perhaps at green, you press reset. Set so timer go zero. Oops. Okay, green flag ready. Bring your mouse to so a pos comfortable position. Space bar. Yep, there we go. Timer. Just one second. Hit ah, zero point five. All right. Now we want everything to stop. So he is gonna say out the timer when everything stops right so when I receive okay should I stop all okay perhaps okay we've done this it's too much movement here okay what else do we need to do okay we can increase the speed by creating a variable called speed all right so this speed is set to the speed over here so if you want this game to go faster you just have to go like when I press right key right arrow you can increase the speed change the speed by 5 so it goes faster and you can go left to make it 10 right okay sorry minus 5 so we have that option those two options now we need to we can hide this away height okay next we need a second set of pipes so duplicate right pipe 2 okay pipe 2 has a second code instead by the ah it has disappeared let's reduce that if the x position of pipe 2 Okay, just have to go back here, choose again, it should appear. Now, 240, let's just go back to position. There's a special condition for pipe 2. If it touches pipe 1, it should go back to its original position. If it touches, it's touching pipe 1. So if there's a clash, it's going to go back. Okay, so wait for one second over here, space bar, switch costume, wait for one second, and then start the movement. Yeah, okay, let's go, let's try this. Ready, go. Oops. Go. Hmm, it showed up too early, right? Just now to start. So, maybe we should wait one second before showing up, right? Okay, one, two, yep, it's there. Oops. Now we need to make the B see out the time. So, now for that part of the game, let's think for a moment. Now, if I touch blue, it's begin over, right? And wait. So, it's just gonna say.